welcome back to my youtube channel in my night knowledge and i am back with another project with another good uh, matlab project which is a 14 bus i tripoli system and i will explain each and everything how the system is working and what i have done in this simulation so stay tuned with us until the video is completed so you can see here in this model i have considered the 14 bus 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 14 so, total 14 bus are connected which are totally interconnected in which the different different load is there different different generating part is there and different different synchronous compensator is also there so you can see any type of system any side of any type of bus is made up of three different component it will be either a pv bus it will be either a pq bus it will be either a swing bus so here you can see uh, all the generators which are 11 kv generator which are connected with the 11 by 415 volt transformer and that finally we are getting the supply which is a 415 voltage or 425 voltage at uh, at this this bus level at this interconnected level and all the loads are specifically designed for the 424 425 voltage level and different different load has a different different capacity 10 kilo volt uh, 100 10 according to your requirement you can change according to your requirement so here all the loads are connected and uh, generating bus is there one 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 bus in every system one is a swing bus swing bus means this is a bus uh, that can feed the whatever the load is there so it is a you can say it is a reference so echo it's the main generator is the biggest generator in the system and all the small generator all the compensator will follow the frequency and the voltage level of the swing generator it's the main reference and when another is a just a pq generator pq generator means there is some specific capacity of the generator to provide the active and reactive power to the system and no matter what is the load is there it is just providing that much power and the feeding the power into the system and it will use pq is mostly used to support the swing generator whenever sudden load is increase or decrease okay and the pv generators are the reactive power generator or synchronous compensator which is fed the reactive power to the system and that will use uh, to maintain the level of the reactive power sometimes swing generator is fed by reactive power that it will be fed by the is the synchronous compensator sometimes load requires the reactive power extra amount of that is also fed by the uh, pv generator so this is how the system is working which is connected interconnected with the transmission line if you want to measure the rms value that you can measure uh, you need to run the model just by clicking over here you can run the model and once the running is completed you will see the rms values over here uh, sorry for one mistake i have done uh, rms required a, a 50 hertz frequency initially i have considered the 60 hertz that's why there were we a slight variation in the value what not but there is sometimes we are getting some wrong value so i have just changed the value so yes once it's completed uh, and i have run the model for the one second and you can see we are getting 245 voltage uh, which is a single phase voltage you can say because i have considered the v bus i am measuring for this number bus 1 and we are getting we are measuring phase to ground voltage if you want to measure the voltages and the and the current for this this, this specific bus then you can see this is the voltage and current current is a 10 ampere and as per the load there is some load variation for the this this pq bus then by current is 20 so i have defined a different different load that by the current is varying but the voltage will remain same the so all the bus getting this much amount of voltage because it's a interconnected bus and the voltage remains same for the all the buses so this was the basic part that i have covered and right now we will check the load flow analysis how you can do the load flow analysis in the matlab simulating for the i triple e 14 bus system uh, for 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 the load flow analysis you need to use the power ui block double click over it and you will see this type of interface again go to tools then go to place load flow analysis so uh, once you place over there uh, it takes some time because there is a lots of iteration that is going on behind the simulation so you can see this type of interface will be open and uh, as per your requirement you can change the voltage level i have considered kilowatt and kvar and the voltage v so uh, yes and then you need to place the compute 
So before pressing the computer, I just explain you all the loads are the PQ loads, generators. One generator is a PQ generator, one another generator is a swing generator, and remaining synchronous compensator are the PV. So this is a bus type. So all uh, only three buses there, swing, PQ, and PV. And once I compute, place the computer, you will see there is some uh, you can see reactive reactive power voltage and voltage angle is right now zero, but it takes some time to compute. And once it's compute, you will get different value over here. So if you consider the first load, it's RLC load 10. So where is RLC load 10? I think this one. What is the name of this block? Sorry, I'll click over here. RLC load 10. Okay. So yes, what is a what is a power? P is 5 5 kilowatt, and it's a 0 0.5 kilowatt. It's a 0 0.1. It's not a kilowatt, it's a KVAR, 0 0.5 KVAR, 0 0.1 KVAR, it's a 5 kilowatt. So if you go back to this uh, model and if you check, then you will get, it's a 5 kilowatt, okay. And this is a reactive power, it's not an MVA, it's a MATLAB error, it's a KVA. And it's a 0 0.4, why it is 0 0.4 and not a 0 0.5? Because there is a reactive comp uh, capacitor components also there. Capacitor will reduce the effect of inductor and that's why if you, if you, uh, if you simply reduce uh, 500 minus 100 you will get a 400 and it, it's a 400 VAR and what is a KVR 0 0.4 KVR and that's why you are getting the 0 0.4 KVR. so this is how the MATLAB is working if you if you want to check the swing generators you can see the swing generator is this one it's feeding this much amount of active power inside the system 79 kilowatt and if you add all the loads, all the kilowatt requirement, you will get this value because all the kilowatt requirement is feeding by the swing generator. And there is yes, there is slightly provided by the, uh, the another generator, PQ generator also. And this is a maximum capacity, 50 kilowatt and 100 kilowatt that I have defined. This much amount of power it can be fed. Okay, so uh, yes. This is how the system is working and if you want to go with the reactive power This is a reactive power reactive power means PV for the reactive power. You can see uh, It's it's feeding the reactive power. So mostly when the bus is a PV bus or the synchronous compensator You will see that the active power is very low, but it is feeding the reactive power Whereas it's the negative it means it is a taking reactive power from the system This is how the system is working now you can perform the load flow analysis the method. thanks for watching this video if you want this file it is given in the description box you can connect with me through my email id and for any type of modification this project or for any type of matlab related project you can connect with me through my email id that is given uh, thank you thank you very much thank you for watching this video and if you like this video just comment it and uh, uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Find out my channel. Again, thank you very much.